Ah, another day, another bottle. Welcome back to Rumworld. I mean, Rimworld. So far, we have created ourselves a nice little island where we produce rum, buy guns, and fend off raiders with pure skill. It's been a steady ride. We made fat stonks last video, and let's hope that continues. Now, let me pass you to my past self to explain the goals of this video. Alright, well, welcome back to, um... Rum Island. Today's plan is uh, a lot of research and development, I think. We're hopefully going to have Rim Atomics this game. We're going to be able to drill for oil. And I kind of want to turn this island into a fortified bunker. Right now, we're just researching fabrication, uh, just so we can get some component production going. Hopefully, no more infestations, mech hive, infested ship chunks, and all that other horrible stuff this time. Just, I just want a chilled episode. That's all I want. We also need a trader rock up now. We have a lot of rum, and we've got a lot of silver. Come on, Randy. You were horrible to me last time. Give me some traders this round. I also should probably work on our food. Uh, <laughs> food supply is pretty limited right now. <laughs> Thankfully, an exotic's good trader rocked up, and I spent far too long staring at the menu just to sell a few bowls of rum and buy a telescope. The buzz on in my favorite song is playing in a Broadway bar. Then you walk in. Anyway, because we had no food to buy, we did the next best thing and took a heavy machine gun to a pack of monkeys. Yeah, my plan is to build sort of a fortress island at this point, so we're going to build all around the beach. And so when raids do come at us, they're going to be stuck in the ocean and we're just going to shoot them as they slowly swim towards us. That's the that's the plan at least. No! Jack's got the plague! Why does Randy have such a fetish for trying to kill my monkey? He's tried to have it killed by raiders multiple times and now he's giving it the plague. Alright, Randy, you're taking the piss now. The poor monkey now has the plague and the flu. What's wrong with you? You sadistic fuck! Stop trying to kill my monkey! I decided it was time for a bit of science. I removed both my miners' arms and replaced them with drill arms. It was, um, definitely a worthwhile investment, if I do say so myself. Oh, look. <laughs> look at that. Incredible. Best investment I've made. All right, let's find out where this oil is. Are you serious? It's all in the sea. That's not helpful at all. Why have we not got any over here? You bastard, Randy. Why do you always do this to me? Oh, for God's sake, really? This map cluster would have been perfect if it didn't have this bloody building that to say was my electronics. Oh, for Christ's sake, really? A siege? Oh, that's okay. I got an idea. All right, the game plan is we're going to fire at the mech hive, hopefully wake it up, and then it will kill that siege. Ha-ha! Wakey, wakey, motherfuckers. Ooh, here we go. Big battle between the raiders and the mechs. Uh, and we're just going to sit here and pretend everything's okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at it go! Those raiders are getting absolutely fucked up. Well, that definitely woke the hive up. I think they also destroyed the shield as well, which is really handy. Did they? Yeah, I think they did. Except for the low shield, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, it looks like they're heading towards our southern gate. Looks like they're coming up this way. Oh, they shoot my boat! No! They're gonna destroy the Black Pearl! Don't destroy my boat! No! <laughs> they sunk the Black Pearl! What a bastard! Okay, I'm not quite sure what that centipede's doing. Uh, hello, Mr. Centipede, are you awake? You gonna do anything, or are you just gonna sit there? Shoot next to it. Aha! It's actually doing damage! This, this, this is a pro tactic. This is, this is the pro tactics you don't see on any other video. Good job, you killed it. This is just a tragedy. Just watching the poor captain try to repair the Black Pearl after that Lancer came and just shot it a few times and broke my entire boat, apparently. All right, I'm building myself a new armory down here, finally, since the stockpile's starting to fill up with resources now. I ended up mortaring the EMP building thingy, and as soon as I did that, Randy sent me a ship chunk surrounded by scythes, which really wasn't that much of a problem, to be honest. There we go. Big ship part killed. <laughs> Fantastic. We love this. R Randy's sending me all these mechs thinking I'm scared of them, but I'm better than that now. I can handle my mechs. Hey, these damn animals. Go away. I I'm oh, God. I shot Roach. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. 
I was trying to shoot the animals that were coming to eat my sugar cane. I was taking the wall down. Oh, I really hope he doesn't die because that's going to be probably the worst death of the series. Oh, no, there we go. He's fine. He's fine. Nothing to worry about. We, we were just messing about, you know what I mean? <laughs> this ended up becoming a recurring theme. The, the shooting of the animals, that is. Stupid little animals coming here and eating all my crops. Get out of it. No, don't let them do it. Get out. I, I saw you and you. Hey, right, what are you thinking about going over there now, huh? Huh? Do you want some too? Do you want some? Stupid crab. I don't even know what you are, but you're dead now. Oh, God. We got an exotics good trader, but I think he arrived from the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they definitely arrived at the wrong place. All right. Well, we finished researching deep oil wells, and thank God that hasn't cucked me. We can at least just stick one right in the middle of my base. Ah, we seem to have another raid, but I'm not really worried because they just landed right next to the mech hive. Goodbye, Mr. Raiders. <laughs> oh, man, they just don't stand a chance every time. Just wait for that next shot. You planning it at all or are you... No? You, you... Am I actually going to have to defend? Oh, well, it's a good test of my new defenses. I did kind of build walls where I can shoot out of. But we'll see how well I planned that out. They're just getting shot as they're just slowly maneuvering their way over. They don't stand a chance. Get them. Keep shooting them. Don't let them get close. Okay, stop shooting that one with the shield up. That's not going to get you anywhere. Oh, God. It's big incendiary on my base. No. They're finding a way to break me down. All right. They want to play mortars. We'll play mortars. There we go. Have some more fire back. Okay, can we start rescuing the people that are on fire, please? This is, this is deteriorating very quickly. The Titan Beaters are on fire. People are on fire. You fool! Why did you run out there? Oh, God! Oh, no! Okay, note to self. Sticking the armory full of explosives on the front line was not a good idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone rescue the Titan Beetle. Don't worry about the cabbages. The Titan Beetle is more important. They did start retreating though. I'm not sure what made them. I guess someone must have bled out or something. <laughs> All right, we, we, we've learned a few valuable lessons this battle. We have also just officially ran out, run out of food. They did the power play of setting my cabbages on fire, so I lost my harvest. <laughs> so I've only got a few to harvest over here. Oh man, I'm even gonna have to pick up some more barrels. We're, uh, we filled them all up. For some reason they're hosting a party on that little rowing boat. They're all having a turn. I'm gonna research heavy weapons so we can get some, uh, 90 millimeter flak tires. I think that's a good idea. All right, I've started construction of our little rim atomics research station as well. We're rapidly advancing ahead. We just got to do the drilling pipe stuff for the oil and that'll be done. And uh, we should be looking all good. I've had a bit of a change of plans. I'm only going to fortify the top side of this island for the time being because uh, it's going to take bloody ages to do all of this. And I don't really see it being worth it at the moment. Uh, or not, or focus on healing people who have the plague now. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate that. Oh, more disease. Come on, Randy. Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? It looks like we should be getting over it. Most people are okay, except for John, who's uh, definitely going to die of the plague, I think. But I, I think he's a broken man anyway. Ah, there he goes. Poor bastard. You know, I, I had to lose someone at some point. I've, um, I love to say I was paying attention. Um... This is why I hate better infestations. <laughs> I turn off the notifications, so when infestations spawn, I don't... Well, I'm not notified, obviously. All right, let's get Roach down there to mark the target. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> now, let's get rid of all these little bugs here, and then we'll press the assault. All right, we're picking them off quite easily now. They are just slowly walking towards us, and we're just shooting them. And it tends to be a good way to deal with them. God, look how many have reproduced by the time that this fight's been going on. This is ridiculous. Yeah, well, she's got a rum bottle and she's just hitting them with a the rum. God, we are actually running out of bullets. They are reproducing quicker than I can shoot them. I am actually running out of bullets. We're having to destroy these hives with bottles of rum. Just keep shooting them. We have one gun and three bottles of rum. We can do this. There we go. That's all the hives destroyed. Bloody hell. That was a bit of a battle. That was... How many bullets can I waste trying to kill all these insects? Oh, and that caused Orange to have a catatonic, apparently. If only the 90mm flat cannon was built, that could have been a lot easier. And a lot more fun. It's uh, beating hives to death with rum bottles. Alright, we just completed the uh, research reactor step thing. So we're just going to build the research reactor. Well, what could possibly go wrong here? Ah, 
radiation leak. Excuse me? I, I, I haven't, I didn't research anything, like, uh, I'm sure it's fine. Tom will be fine. <laughs> I was going to say, I haven't researched, like, radiation suits or radiation detectors, but I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. Interesting, a wine merchant has just rocked up. <laughs> Are they technically competition for my rum? Well, believe it or not, the wine merchant only sells wine and grapes. He doesn't want to buy any of my rum. But because I like supporting local industries and nothing to do with the fact that I might be a borderline alcoholic, let's buy some wine. 50 bottles. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, a military industrial trader. What What the hell is that? Never seen that before. Oh, it's from the rim atomic. It must be the trader I called from rim atomic. Oh my god, they're selling a nuclear warhead. Oh, I don't, I don't quite have enough for it. Hang on. No, I'm missing like two grand silver. I shouldn't have bought that wine. If I didn't buy the wine, I could have bought a nuclear warhead. Right, I, I know exactly what we're saving up for now. Next time that trader comes around, or I pay for the trader, uh, we're, we're, we're buying a nuke. All right, we've researched a nuclear research reactor. Uh, what do we do next? Let's, let's, let's research nuclear power. Because that sounds like a great idea. I can't fuck that up at all. Um... Oops. 